Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with relations and functions, uh, we're going to consider what the digraph of an asymmetric relation looks like. Okay, So the digraph of an asymmetric relation. Let's just keep in mind what a relation is. So let's say a relation. A relation is a subset okay, of a cross product. Okay. Okay, so a relation on a set is simply a subset of a cross product. So if if A is the set that contains the values 1, 2, 4, and 7, uh, well then A cross A, we can construct A cross A. A cross A uh, is 1, 2, 4, 7, 1, 2, 4, 7. We have 1 with 1, uh, 1 with 2. 1 is associated with 4, 1 is associated with 7, 2 is related to 1, 2 is related to 2, 2 is related to 4, 2 is associated with 7. The different terminology that we use, 4 with 1, 4 with 2, uh, 4 goes to 4, uh, 4 is mapped to 7, uh, 7 to 1, 7 to 2, uh, 7 to 4, uh, 7 to 7. They're all the ordered pairs. If we take all of them and we put them inside a set, Okay, well then what we end up with is A cross A, the cross product of A with A, a set of ordered pairs. And a relation is simply a subset of this particular cross product. Okay, now in this particular video we're interested in what a, the digraph, what a, the digraph of an asymmetric relation looks like. Okay, uh, so I suppose we need to provide a definition, the definition uh, of an asymmetric, an asymmetric uh, relation. That's what we need to provide so that we know what we're what we're looking for. Okay, so given given a relation, let's call it R on a set A, we say that R is asymmetric, asymmetric if and only if, okay, for each and every a b that's an element of or so for each word and every ordered pair that's in or uh, we must have we must have that a b sorry that b a is not in or and that's what it means to be asymmetric which is subtly different to the concept of anti-symmetric in the anti-symmetric situation there's a restriction on the ordered pairs that we need to consider and in particular the restriction is we don't consider them when they're equal to each other okay uh, that's one way to sort of phrase that okay uh, in this situation we're going to consider all ordered pairs irrespective of whether the a's and b's are distinct values okay so let's let's draw a digraph, okay? So we have one, uh, we have two, we have four, and we have seven, okay? So uh, this says, I suppose, uh, the relation is anti-symmetric if when you consider an ordered pair that's in relation, you can't have its flip in the relation, okay? So that's going to then exclude things like one, one, okay? So these values here, these these values along here, one one two two, four four seven seven. Those trivial values, when you flip them over, well, when you change one with one, okay, when you flip these two values here, you get one one. When you flip the two with two, when you flip these two values here, you get two two, and so on and so forth. So them things can't be included here. So in a the digraph of an asymmetric relation, in the first instance, can't have any self loops. So we should have no self loops, okay? Because the self loops can be flipped. And if you flip a self loop, you get itself, and that's going to be in the relation. So that will contradict this particular, this particular, let's say, condition here. Okay? So that's one thing that we have to exclude is the self loops, okay? And let's have a look at just a situation. Let's just throw in a single. Okay, we've excluded the self loops. Let's throw in a single situation. Here we have an edge going from one to two. So this relation R contains the ordered pair one to two. And let's see. So is this relation here now currently as it is? Now we'd have to close off that curly bracket to make it an actual set. Okay, a set of ordered pairs. But let's just let's just assume that this is closed off. Let's say down here because I'm going to throw in more values in here. Okay, so. Is this relation, the relation that contains the single ordered pair 1, 2, is that relation asymmetric? 
Well, let's think about it. We have to take the ordered pairs that are in the relation. In this case, there's only one of them. And we need to flip them over. In this case, we'd get 1, 2 is flipped to 2, 1. And now the question is, is 2, 1 in the relation? It shouldn't be to be anti-symmetric. And you can clearly see that's not in here. Yeah. So in this situation here, we have a, we have a situation where this relation now, as is, is anti-symmetric. Let's throw in another edge. Let's throw in 7 is taken to 4. Let's say we have 7 is taken to 4. Uh, well, here's another ordered pair. We already know that we meet the anti-symmetric condition when we when we look at 1, 2. But now that there's another one in there, we might break the anti-symmetric condition, so we need to test this one. So when we look at 7, 4, when we flip it, we get 4, 7. Is 4, 7 in this relation? No, it's not. So currently, this relation is anti-symmetric. Okay, so now we know there's no self loops. There shouldn't be any self loops on it, and so far you can sort of see that we have edges leaving nodes. Okay, okay, and going to destinations. Yeah, let's throw in another one. Let's say four is taken to. Let's say four is taken to two. So we're going to throw in four two now, and once again when we look at four two, when we flip it we get two four. There's no edge from two to four, so hence this relation is anti-symmetric. So you can see once again we have even we have a path from. 7 to 4 and from 4 to 2 so paths are okay uh, but we can't have a situation where for example we can't have something like this because 4 to flip it you get 2 to 4 2 to 4 would be in this relation which would make it anti-symmetric you can't have a situation like this you can't have a situation like this so basically what we're saying for the graph of an asymmetric relation the graph of an asymmetric relation okay, we never have an edge leaving a value to another value and another edge coming back from that value to this so we never have things that look like this and we also never have self loops that once we match them to once we meet them two conditions we have an asymmetric relation okay guys once again this is Jonathan Lambert of the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland and I hope that this short video another video in our series of videos dealing with relations and functions uh, and in particular concentrating on the digraph of an asymmetric relation i hope that this was in some way uh, intuitive and more importantly i hope that was helpful for you thanks for watching okay bye bye